Spread it like. Okay, um, today we're going to start our tutorial series where we're going to look at how to create a game like Pixelcraft Space Shooter uh, using Unity 3D and C Sharp. So if you don't know what Pixelcraft Space Shooter is, honestly it's probably my favorite shooter game on my phone right now. Uh, there's a few others that are pretty good. Phoenix is good. Um, but I really like the way Pixelcraft goes about it. I like the art style and a lot of the juicy stuff that they've added to it. So let's take a look. So we hit the play button. What we're going to be looking at today is we have our uh, ship. It's automatically firing, which is always good. You don't want to have to have a separate fire button on a mobile device unless you absolutely have to. But the big thing I want to focus on is the movement here. So the ship doesn't move directly to my finger. Instead, as I move my finger up, the ship moves up. As I move it down, it moves down. But it's not one to one. If you can see, as if I move a little bit here, it moves more on my ship than it does, uh, than my finger does, which is something that I think is actually kind of really important because it allows you, if you're holding it one handed, to keep your thumb down here and still be able to access most of the screen. See, I can get all the way up here with only having to reach about halfway to the to the phone. So we're going to take a look at how to make something similar to this today using Unity 3D. All right, so first of all, I'm using Unity 2017.2. Uh, this can be acquired at unity3d.com. Uh, there's a personal edition that you're able to use for free, so long as your business makes less than $100,000 per year. If you just click Get Unity, uh, you'll see the different options. Uh, your personal edition, like I said, if your business makes less than $100,000, you can make and publish games using personal. You have to have the Unity splash screen, but that's not such a big deal. Uh, if you want to, you can go into a Plus or a Pro subscription, and these are based on a monthly basis. So I already have Unity 2017 downloaded, and I have my art assets that I worked on the other day that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to open up a new project in Unity here. So, oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to create a new project. You can see I kind of was testing some stuff out there earlier. Uh, this project is going to be in the 2D environment. I'm going to change the name to Pixel Craft Shooter Light. Um, save it to wherever you want to save it, and then hit create, and then hit create project. So your project files are going to be created automatically. First thing I want to do once this comes up is create some folders just so I have a nice, neat environment to work with. Uh, my Unity settings might be slightly different than yours too, so we can talk about how to make it so that your Unity looks like mine, because the default is different than what I have here. So this is the way I like to have Unity. If you look up here in the upper right hand corner, there's a layout option, and this is the Unity's default layout. I'm not a huge fan of this because you have to click in between the game and the scene view. If you change stuff in the scene, you can't see it in the game right away. I also don't like how much space the asset folder takes up, and I'm not a huge fan of that position of the hierarchy. So uh, if you go up to this layout tab, I like 2x3, but I like to make a couple changes. Uh, I like 2x3 because you can see both the scene view and the game view at the same time. So if you add something to the scene view, you can see it changed the game view right away. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the project tab and I'm going to dock it underneath the hierarchy and then kind of just move this over. So now I have a lot more space. I think this is pretty good for 2D games. So, all right, the next thing I want to do is set up my display. Most phone displays are either 16 by 9, 17 by 9, or 18 by 9. I'm going to go with 16 by 9 here. And if you do 16 by 9, it's going to be in landscape. I want it to be in portrait. So I already have all these phone portrait mode things I've created. I'm going to show you how you can create one if you don't already have one. If you go to the where it says free aspect, click that. Go down here, click the plus symbol, uh, give this a label. Uh, I'm going to call this Pixel Craft Portrait. Uh, change it from fixed resolution to aspect ratio. If it's fixed resolution, it's how many pixels you want it to have, which can be helpful if you're porting to a very specific device. Otherwise, you probably want to deal with an aspect ratio versus a specific number of pixels so that high definition and low definition devices have similar uh, feelings, similar continuity. So I'm going to set the width to be 9 the height to be 16, 
And then if I just hit OK, it'll create this. But I already have a bunch of portraits that I can use. So I'm just going to use portrait mode foam, which defaults to 9 by 16. So I've got my scene view up here, my game view down here. Before I go any further, I'm going to create some folders in my assets folder here. So if you just go over and right click, you can go up to create folder. And I'm going to create probably three folders to start. I'm going to create one for my art. I'm going to create another one for my scripts. You can change the size of your folders here. It's just up and down. I prefer them like this. I'm going to create another one for my scenes, even though we'll probably only be using one or two scenes. And another one for materials, because we're going to be using uh, a lot of materials in this tutorial. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is import my art assets. Now, in my part zero of this tutorial, I created some art assets. I created a uh, player ship, uh, one enemy ship, and then some textures that we can use. So I'm just going to import these one by one. And then I'm going to have to change some settings to them as well. And I'll show you how to do that. So at the moment, we're mainly going to be dealing with the player ship. I've got one more I want to put in there. All right, great. So when I made this player ship, I made it 32 pixels by 32 pixels. By default, Unity thinks that it should have 100 pixels per Unity unit. If you zoom into the scene view up here, you can see these kind of faint gray lines. This is one Unity unit. If you're in 3D, this is supposed to be a meter. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that my ship takes up exactly one of these positions. That's going to be about the same size that Pixelcraft has. So I'm going to change this from 100 to 32. Uh, and then also, one thing that you might notice if you add pixel art to a game in Unity, sometimes it looks a little fuzzy. It usually has to do with the filter mode that you have turned on. If you have bilinear filtering or trilinear filtering, it does this anti-aliasing thing to remove jagged edges. You want to go with point, which is no filter. And I'm going to apply that. And now I'll just grab this and pull it into the scene. And there we go. This creates a new empty game object uh, with a sprite renderer attached to it. I'm going to rename this to player. And I'm going to add a few components to it really quickly here. Also, I kind of hate the Unity blue. I'm going to go to my main camera. I'm going to change my background. So if you click on main camera over here, just background, just click the color and make it something not quite so weird. Something that has maybe a little more contrast with the ship. So I'll go to like a nice warm gray, something like that. That has some contrast with the ship. You can at least see it now. Okay, I'm going to go back to my player. I'm going to add a few things. First, I'm going to add a circle collider 2D. Uh, yours probably won't show up like that. If you click Add Component, you can go to Physics 2D and Circle Collider 2D. Don't add a regular or a sphere collider, I guess. It's not a circle collider. You want to make sure that we're doing this stuff in 2D. Um, if you'll notice here, up here in my scene view, you can see this green outline where the circle collider is. Right now, that's a bit too big. Most players would think they were getting cheated if a projectile hit them right here and it registered as a hit. So I'm going to make that a little smaller. I can do that manually. By adjusting this number. Right now it's 0.5, I can make it 0.4. Or if you put your cursor next to the box, you see how it kind of turns into handles like this? I can use that to adjust it up or adjust it down. So there we go. Next thing I'm going to add things that move in Unity. Unity really likes it if they have what's called a rigid body 2D or a rigid body if it's in 3D. So I'm going to go to add component, physics 2D, rigid body 2D. And really quickly, I'm going to remove the gravity scale here to set that to zero. I'm also going to turn on some constraints. I'm going to freeze the Z rotation. I'm going to change collision detection from discrete to continuous. OK, so that's the setup of the project. Um, certainly hope this went well for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Next time, we're going to go about creating that control system, very similar to uh, Pixelcraft Shooter. So thank you very much and have a great day.